So hi, I'm Carly Cathy, and today I'm going to talk about fear just for a moment. Fear is a healthy part of life. It's a healthy part of your personality. If it wasn't for fear, you wouldn't be vigilant. You wouldn't be awake. You wouldn't be alert. You wouldn't be aware of what is going on around you. Without fear, you'd be dangerous, right? So you, everything that you do is going to be done with a certain amount of fear. Fear will be with you no matter what. Fear is the close cousin to every other part of you. So the old analogy of Dale Carnegie from years ago now was to feel the fear and do it anyway. And I'd like to give a metaphor for how you might do that. By picturing and imagining the part of you that's going to do it anyway, getting in the driver's seat. The part of you that's going to jump off the cliff or that's going to fly, that's going to do that presentation or that talk, that's going to meet that deadline, that's going to ask that person to marry you, whatever it might be. Let that part of you get in the driver's seat and safely buckle fear up in the back seat, right? Because fear's going to come. So you may as well treat fear like an inner little child and put him or her in the back seat, buckle him or her up so she's nice and safe, and then get in the driver's seat. Check in on fear every now and then. How are you doing back there? Right? And then carry on and do it anyway. Because fear is going to be a part of the story. Simple as that. If you want some more deeper container in which to work with the fear that might be holding you back or keeping you stuck or small or quiet in any way, go to sacredhypnogoddess.com where I can hold that container while we explore together what it is that is really holding you back. Because fear is just a little piece of it. There's another story lying beneath that. And we can unravel that story and give that story its voice and find the strength in there. Because again, there's a silver lining in fear too.